Ladies and gentlemen, let's recap the New York Mets versus Philadelphia Phillies. Just finished watching this game. You already know Tyler, a known Mets fan. He is excited, man. The New York Mets beat the Philadelphia Phillies 7-2 to two, the final score. And they take a 2-1 to one series lead. Game number four tomorrow where the Mets can clinch and go to the National League Championship Series. Absolutely improbable. Really great game. Let's talk about it. We had Sean Manaya and Aaron Nola on the mound. Ended up being a pretty interesting pitching performance from both sides. Sean Manaya uh, ended up having a really good game. Got into some trouble, but he was able to get out of it. And in a really strong seventh inning to finish off with seven innings, one run, six strikeouts. Was really, really good early on in this game. Sean Manaya was dominating with his fastball upstairs. Uh, with Schwarber and Harper, two big guys in their lineup being lefties, he really was able to neutralize this Phillies lineup. That fastball upstairs, there was an at-bat to Kyle Schwarber where uh, Schwarber just looked uncomfortable. He blew 95 miles an hour by him. He really worked his changeup. Whenever he threw his changeup, I think around 20, 25% of the time, it was very effective. Got, I think, two or three strikeouts on that pitch. His sweeper away to Bryce Harper. There was a, an at-bat in the sixth inning. Changeup, sweeper, sweeper, not even close in the other batter's box where Sean Manaya starts on this side, goes to the other batter's box on two sweepers, and gets him swinging. Uh, and that was really, really big with Schwarber and Trey Turner getting back to back walks to set up that um to set up that at bat. That was that was a really uh, big, big inning. And then Nick Castellanos ended up lining out to a double play uh, right to Jose Iglesias, flips to uh, Francisco Lindor. That was really the turning point in this start for Sean Manaya. But Pete Alonso started the scoring off for the New York Mets in the first inning where he hit a solo shot in the second inning. I'm sorry, I think I said the first inning. In the second inning, on a high and away fastball, first pitch from Aaron Nola, Pete Alonso extends his hand, another opposite field home run for Pete Alonso. A really good pitch by Aaron Nola, first pitch sinker outer half it goes back to the outside corner of Pete Alonzo he gets his barrel to it immediately I'm like that pitch is gone and Pete Alonzo uh, electrified the Mets crowd really set the tone and and this swing immediately my thought was like Pete Alonzo has to stay in New York man there was almost a current call for Pete Alonzo I thought he was going to end up getting a current call he did not get a current call but Pete Alonzo is such a special power hitter we're really seeing it in this postseason run for the for the special amazing New York Mets uh, so we take it to the top of the fourth inning and to this point, Sean Manaya, I don't even know if he's allowed to hit to this point. I'm not 100% sure. But Tyrone, uh, Alec Bohm, I'm sorry, he's going to be up at the plate. And I think it was a fastball uh, up and inside. And, and Alec Bohm is going to crush it uh, into the right center field gap. Really gets the barrel to it. Goes to the wall. Tyrone Taylor bare hands it, fires it to second base. And a perfect one-hop strong throw. And Francisco Lindor is going to get the one-hop bounce. Immediately, his glove is right on Alec Bohm's head. And he is going to get him out at second base. A really, really big play. Really impressive throw from Tyrone Taylor. Good tag. And, and that really uh, eliminated any sort of rally that the Phillies were potentially going to get. Um, it also sucks for Alec Bohm, a guy who's really struggled, obviously, in this postseason, really in the second half. Uh, put a good swing on it, but he's not going to be able to get into second base. And then we take it to the bottom half of that fourth inning. And Jesse Winker, who earlier in this game got robbed by Nick Castellanos, a really good play by Nick Castellanos, I think in the third or second inning, I think it was, it was in the second inning after that Pete Alonso home run. Iglesias got a single. The Mets are starting to put together a rally, but Nick Castellanos robs Jose Iglesias, uh, robs uh, Jesse Winker in right field, a really nice jumping catch. And Jesse Winker crushes one, a middle, middle sinker into the second deck in City Field. Jesse Winker. I mean, he really, for the past two, three years, since his 2021 year, has been a terrible player. A terrible player. An injury prone player. He goes over to Washington, has a pretty decent first half. And since he's been on the Mets as a pinch hitter, as a DH versus righties, Jesse Winker rakes. I love his energy that he's brought to this New York Mets team. And he's put up really, really good at bats in this postseason. Jesse Winker puts the Mets up by two. So we take it to the sixth inning. Of course, we talked about that top of the sixth rally that the Phillies put up really big for Sean Manaya. Sean Manaya is into it. And then we take it to the bottom half of the sixth inning. This is what this Mets team does. They respond. They're really good at responding. So in this sixth inning, Mark Vientos is going to single on a sinker. And then we're going to see back-to-back -back walks to Brandon Nimmo and Pete Alonso to set up bases loaded. Orion Kirkrang is going to enter this game come in in a bases loaded, no out situation and immediately is going to get a ground ball force out 
uh, from Jose Iglesias, a really good play by first baseman Bryce Harper. He's going to fire it home. Uh, actually, he, I think he I think he tripped. He got the ball. He tripped, fell, and then he was still able to get the force out at home, a really close play at home place. So now we have one out. We uh, still have bases loaded, but a really big first out where the run doesn't score. And now we're an out. Now we're a double play away from potentially allowing no runs in this first inning, uh, in this in this sixth inning to keep it a two nothing game. Jesse Winker comes up. He's going to fly one into shallow left field. Austin Hayes comes in on it, makes the play. Austin Hayes, really good throw to hold the runner. I think it was, um, who was it? Mark Vientos at third base. Uh, or I'm sorry. No, I think it was Brandon Nimmo for, at third base. And he's going to be held at third base. So now, Two outs, no runs have scored. Starling Marte comes up and puts up a really big at-bat. This is a crucial at-bat in this game, probably the biggest at-bat that allowed the New York Mets to win this game. Starling Marte gets a middle-middle slider from Orion Kirkcraft. Marte, I feel like even though the results have not been great, yeah, batting 222 with a 526 OPS, Marte, I felt like, has put good swings on it this entire postseason. I've really liked what I've seen from Marte. He's also had some good defensive plays in right field. And, and Marte puts a really good swing on a slider, lines it into center field. That's going to score two. The Mets have a 4 nothing lead. The Mets are going to put together a two-out rally in the seventh inning against Jose Alvarado. Mark Vientos with a single starting that rally off. And we are going to see Brandon Nimmo work a walk. Pete Alonzo once again works a walk. And then Jose Iglesias, two-out Bases loaded, singles into center field. Jose Iglesias, shout out to him. The Mets now six to nothing. Really have broken this game open. The Phillies tried to put together a rally in the eighth inning off of Phil Maton. I thought Phil Maton actually looked decent in that inning, but he has just continued to um, allow runs in this postseason. A 13 5 year, right? Uh, pitching almost in every single game for the New York Mets at the bullpen, but he's able to get out of it. I think it was uh, Alec Bohm. Uh, who actually, no, Phil Mason got taken out. Ryan Stanek came in, a lot of first pitch single to Nick Castellanos on a fastball, then jams Alec Bohm uh, to get out of that potential jam uh, that the Phillies uh, put up. Bryce Harper with an RBI and Nick Castellanos with an RBI. So uh, the Mets also respond in the eighth inning, bottom of the eighth inning, uh, with another run, and they end up closing it down. Ryan Stanek closes it down. Aaron Nola's final stat line, five innings, five hits, four runs, eight strikeouts. Um they talked about it on the broadcast. He allowed two runs in that sixth inning, which really hurt him. But if, if you remove that, Aaron Nola really did not pitch a terrible game. One thing I thought with Aaron Nola that really uh, was was his hits. I mean, it was really two home runs. If you take away that sixth inning where uh, he obviously walked Nimmo and Alonzo and, and allowed that single to Mark Vientos. But if you take away that sixth inning, it's really just two home runs and then dominant baseball. Like He pitched really good outside of those two home runs. Uh, to Alonzo, which was a good pitch. Alonzo just had a great swing. And then a middle-middle sinker to Jesse Winker there. He crushed uh, into deep right field. But uh, Nola, I mean, it, it was just, the, again, the sinker. The sinker, he really just continued to go to the sinker. He's got one of the best curveballs this game has to offer. He's got a really, really good changeup. In my opinion, at least watching it, I didn't think he went to it as much as he should have. Again, it was still not a terrible start from Aaron Nola. He, for the most part, kept them in the game. Sean Manaya, though, shut them down. Again, that sixth inning, the Phillies had an opportunity, did not come through. Schwarber and Harper were equalized by Sean Manaya. And, and outside of that, the Phillies lineup, uh, the bottom of the lineup really has not done a lot uh, so far in this playoff run. Yeah, Johan Rojas, of course, is not really a factor. Uh, Brandon Marsh has not done anything. JT Real Muto has not been a factor. It's really been Bryce Harper with that big home run. Trey Turner's, I feel like, had a really good postseason so far. I'd like the at-bats. And then Nick Castellanos, that's really been the offense for the Phillies. Well, in past years, we've seen Alec Bohm. We've seen JT Real Muto have really massive. JT Real Muto has been really good in these playoff runs. Um, and, and and then ju just guys like just, just guys filling in. Um, when we talk about like Bryson Stott, Bryson Stott did not play in this game. Bryson Stott's had some massive moments as well, but um, yeah, the Mets now uh, are, are really in full control of this series. I mean, I predicted the Mets go to the NLCS before the before before it started, but to see them actually do this, I, I mean, this is a really really great team to see how this pitching staff has uh, evolved. Seeing the start that Luis Severino put up in game number two before that sixth inning where he got rocked off of Harper, um, Harper and Nick Castellanos, but Severino how dominant he is as a starting pitcher. Sean Manaya to see how dominant he is and really has rejuvenated his career. And honestly, one of the better left-handers like that. This was such a massive start from Manaya. Manaya really was so dominant, I thought, in the start. Um, and, and, and to see 
to see the Mets really just put it together. The young guys, their lineup, their uh, the 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 emergence of Jose Iglesias, um, Pete Alonso, Francisco Lindor having one of the best years of his entire career. Uh, Brandon Nimmo finally, I mean, finally in a postseason uh, series, really. Um, and he's had a really, he's had so many numerous big hits. Uh, I really love, and Tyrone Taylor, like Tyrone Taylor has been really, really effective. Came over from what, Milwaukee and has become almost like an everyday type center field. Like Tyrone Taylor has been really good with the bat and in the field. Uh, to, so to see what this Mets team has done with Carlos Mendoza, really phenomenal manager. It's been really cool. And the Mets are going to look to close it down in game number four. Really important game. I think if the Phillies win this game four, uh, they, 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 I feel like they have the momentum back going into game five. But again, it's baseball, man. It's baseball. I'm excited to see the energy that the New York Mets and the City Fields crowd is going to bring in game number five. On the game number four and game number five, we're going to go back to Cincinnati Park potentially. So I appreciate y'all for watching. I'll talk to y'all soon. I'm about to watch the Padres and Dodgers game. Game number three. Excited to watch it. Uh, so have a great day. And I'll see you guys soon.